Right lads, welcome to Dallymoor. The idea of what we're going to do over the next several weeks is basically improve your riding. It's not about competition with each other, it's about competition with yourself. Wherever you're starting from, the idea is to make you better riders. We're going to basically disassemble what you already know about riding bikes and uh, then build you back up from the beginning. You might have to go even slower uh, than what you can go now to learn the right way of doing things that's going to get you around quicker and get you around safer. We're at Dali Moor. Basically, we've got the old circuit to go out, but for the purposes of what we're going to do over the next few weeks, we're going to use this part of the circuit. It's basically the top end. It includes a little bit of everything. It's got nice chicane, right, left, right, very slow airpin, first gear, uh, and a big fast accelerating left hand onto the straight. The idea is you're going like that. As straight a line as you can make through that chicane, that's what you're doing. You're going basically from one curb to the next to the next. Uh, next corner, the left hand into the airpin. Now, this is where it starts getting a little bit trickier. You're actually going around it, and if that was a straight going off there, it'd be so easy. You'd go from here to there to there and onto the straight, and you'd do like you did at the chicane. You'd straighten it out as much as you could. But straight after this corner, you've got the airpin. And what will happen is if you went through that corner as quick as you could, what you're going to get is thrown to that point, there. And where you need to be is about there. You'd be wasting a load of time trying to get back and get a perfect line around the airpin. So what we're going to do is go in, scrubbing the speed off, braking, obviously balancing lean angle with brakes. You can't just go into a corner and grab all the load of front brake. You're going you're gonna to crash. There ain't going to be as much grip on the side of the tyre. So you're going around, keeping the bike as straight-ish up, which will throw you that way. You're going to get to about that point, about halfway across the width of the track, and then into the hairpin from there. And then you're just going to have to make the best, really the best line is from that point to the apex, and then using all the track coming out. It's going to throw you that way, like that. And really, you need to be about here to get a good slingshot onto that straight there. Once you start getting one set of corners right, it spoils the next corner. And it's all about sacrificing one bit and, and getting the best balance. Obviously, it's a compromise. And to get around there properly, you're going to have to think about what you're doing. We're really going to go out there. Uh, I'm going to show you the way around. Uh, you're going to watch me a couple of times. Then you're going to do it on your own. I'm going to follow you. And we're going to start from there. Right, lads, there's a circuit, as you can see. We're at the S's. This is just starting our section of the circuit. You've got a right going in, then a left, then a right, and you don't even count the left coming out. You can straight line that. In fact, this whole section, you can almost straight line it. Obviously, the faster you're going, the less you can straight line it. Then, the next section is going into the hairpin. You can see the red and white barrier. That's the left leading directly into the hairpin. Whatever you do there directly affects what happens at the hairpin. And then what happens at the airpin affects the left coming out of the airpin. So we'll see when we get up there. Positioning, your line out of this corner is going to throw you basically out this way. You're going to be coming out more towards the left hand side of the track. You've got to get across to the, you can actually see the line because you can see the polished part. You can just about see the more polished yeah. tarmac. It's going to be a gradual sweep back. You're not going to be able to just come over here and run down that side. You're going to be coming out of there quick. That means you're not going to be able to just turn and cr across. You're going to, it's going to be a gradual sort of aim to get to within sort of four feet of that kerb. The apex for the left-hander going in to the airpin is basically after where it would be if it was just one corner taken on its own. Because you don't want to be apexing early and getting flung to the right-hand side of the track. That'll just put you right into the airpin. And when you want to be taking a sweeping line around the airpin and flattening out as much as you can, it's just going to throw you straight into the middle of the corner and you're going to be pointing that way and you want to be pointing that way. So you're going to have to apex it later and then go in from the, ab about the middle of the track-ish into the airpin when you turn right. What I'm trying to get across is actually the theory, not so much. I'm, I'm not going to tell you you're going to, you're going to have to run over this pebble here. That's a perfect position on the track. I want to get you across the sort of theory of how you'll get going quick around this section. So looking at getting back to something like about maybe about here, your tipping points, maybe about here. And you're not looking to apex it here, yeah. you're looking to apex it right over there. You're looking to come tip it in from here, 
gradually in and in and in and then meet the grass about your lines probably going from here you're making an effort to come back in and you're apexing it all this time you're coming in gradually to about here about here and then you want to be apexing here because if you apex it here you're going to be somewhere under that edge bottom there and then you've got to get all the way back across there as you accelerate and it's really hard to move when you, as you accelerate and hook you through the box it's really hard to get the bike across and then get an entry into that into that left onto the straight if you look at it apex and it about here about where that white line is about where that little white uh, scuff mark is and that way it's not going to fling you out under that edge bottom it's going to it's gonna, you're going to naturally drift out but you're not going to drift out all the way under that under that uh, banking and have to get right the way back across you're just making too much of a corner of it it's about what you need to be doing is picking a point that, that basically you can use as a datum getting don't just look at the track in front of you look at basically have an idea of sort of uh, your peripheral vision what's around you get braking markers get and get just just datums where you know where you are on the track and you're only going to get that by riding around it but you will get it it might, could be a change of time that could be a rubber mark could be whatever it is you need to be really aiming for you know getting points so you've got a spatial awareness of where you're on the track because a lot of people just guess they guess braking mark and it works for a bit yeah and then they get it all wrong right yeah do we ride riding there yeah right, boys here we are lap of dalimo that's the start and finish straight start and finish line First set of corners is just called simply the chicane. Uh, it's a right, left, right combination. Right, left, and the right. This is quite a tight one coming now. That naturally throws you to the outside of the circuit, the left hand side. And a short blast up to park corner. Breaking down second gear, but a lot more res than the airpin. Tipping in from about here into the apex and then drifting all the way out as you go back up to the through the box third fourth fifth and on a flying lap you'd be up to maybe flat out in fifth or maybe even sixth gear before you come uh, into the first part of the s's s's is a right left right left combination a lot more open than the chicane you can almost straight line this on a bike you see one curb there on the right Another curb on the left, there, another curb on the right, there, and then just clip the last curb coming out. And that's almost a straight line on a bike. Get it back across the round side, 